Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jeff with the Collector Car Network. This is Diego Rosenberg, also from the Collector Car Network, who writes for The Journal. And today, we're going to be taking a look at two cars, a 1972 Oldsmobile 442W30 and comparing it with a 1972 Buick GS Stage 1. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Land Air Sea. Keep tabs on all your valuable assets from the palm of your hand. Remember, with Land Air Sea, theft is temporary. Visit LandAirSea.com to order your LandAirSea GPS unit for your classic vehicle. Okay, so first we're gonna get started with the 1972 Olds 442 W30, and I'm gonna let Diego take it from here. Thank you, Jeff. Absolutely. So this is a 1970 Oldsmobile 442. In 1972, became an engine option, actually a performance package, and some people would even argue and say it was just a suspension package. Uh, some changes in 1972, uh, the trim is black, which was common in a lot of the GM cars like the Chevelle and the Buick. Uh, round parking lights, which was new in 1971 for the Cutlass and 442. Uh, we have a black and grill, uh, slight change in design from 1971. Now, uh, the W30 package included the W25 hood. Here we have a 300 horsepower 455 aluminum intake manifold. In previous years, starting in 67 to 71, we also had red plastic fender wells. In 72, they didn't have them anymore, although some people say the early cars did. And we're going to compare that soon with a Buick GS that's exactly in the same color flame orange as this one. The W25 hood also had standard uh, hood locks. Now let's go to the wheels. These are called super stock three wheels. Uh, you are familiar with the design, but it is exactly the same design as the super stock two wheels. The only difference is the super stock threes are painted and the super stock twos are gray. Uh, you can see the W30 striping here, which are thick. The standard 442 had thin pin striping. Uh, often you see cars restored that are regular 442s that have the thick striping because people like the W30 aura to it. Of course, you got the W30 badge here. And let's look at the VIN now. In 1972, General Motors started putting the engine code in the VIN. So the fifth character here is an X. So there's no doubt this is a W30. In earlier years, you don't know. You need paperwork. So let's look in the interior. And what's most notable in the interior is it has a dual gate shifter, which I think a lot of people believe the dual gate shifter was standard with the console, but it is not true. It was actually an option on top of the console. You can also see power windows, rally pack, the Oldsmobile steering wheel with that nice rubbery feel. And out back, we have the segmented tail lights, which was new for 1972. Before, in 1971, it was like one pie and another pie. And here we have the exhaust trumpets, which were traditionally part of the 442 in, starting in 1968. But in 72, since the 442 became an option, they were not included with the base 442 because it was a 352 barrel with single exhaust that was standard compared to the 455 that was standard from 1970 to 71. Up next, we'll be comparing it to the GS Stage 1 in exactly the same color, and we'll see how a 300 horsepower W30 compares with a GS Stage 1. So here we have a 1972 Buick GS, otherwise known as Grand Sport. This is a GS 455, but on top of that is a GS Stage 1. So it has the best engine for 1972. Uh, unlike the Oldsmobile, this was rated at 270 net horsepower. Uh, 30 horsepower difference, but did it really translate that much in the street? Probably it was a lot less. Probably they're much similar in horsepower. As you can see in 1972, they got the black trim, just like the Oldsmobile. Uh, the grill is different for 1972. You can see black. And also Oldsmobile, I'm sorry, Buick put this... Um, filler panel, which wasn't here in 1971. Uh, let's open the hood. And you can see here, there is the stage one. Uh, you can see that this 
air induction intake is different than this one. That's only for 1972 to, due to some emissions equipment that was mandatory. So that's why this is a different shape. Also for the GS Stage 1, because just like the Oldsmobile, uh, the engine code is in the VIN number. So the fifth character in this case is a V versus an X for the W30 that we saw. And you can see the black trim here for the 1972s. The 1971s did not get this trim. And you can see these exhausts, uh, option code N25. Uh, it was introduced in 1971, also available in 1972 very nice option otherwise the exhaust will be coming from under here hidden now the interior what's special about this car is that it's a four speed they made 81 stage one convertibles in 1972 but only 15 were four speeds and that's what distinguishes this car from all the rest otherwise if you like what you see here you can find cars like this and other cars at autohunter.com and classiccars.com if you like this video, just press like on your screen and you can see more videos like this. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching.